Okay, here's our latest problem. Humpty Dumpty, sitting on a wall, throws an egg at one of the king's horses on which one of the king's men is mounted. The egg's velocity is 20 meters per second, 25 degrees above the horizontal. Your job is to find the exact velocity, which is speed and direction of that egg four seconds later. First thing you do, read it. Make sure that you have understood it, you have pictured it in your brain, and once you've pictured it in your brain, you sketch the situation on your paper. Quick sketch of the situation. There's the wall. He then is sitting on the wall and takes an egg, which is right there in his hand, and throws it in this direction, 25 degrees above the horizontal, and the initial velocity of 20 meters per second. It then goes up, comes back down, time is 4 seconds. At that later point here, that final velocity is the unknown. So then once you have all that, we know that for projectile motion, the entire problem solution is based on the complete and total independence of the horizontal and vertical vectors. The accelerations are independent, the displacements are independent, and the velocities are independent of each other because there is only one force acting on these objects. It is their weight, and this weight force, also known as the force of gravity, not just gravity, the force of gravity, this weight force causes an acceleration in the y direction and not an acceleration in the x direction. So we set up the problem using two completely separate columns, x and y. Acceleration in the x direction is always going to be zero. We assume no air friction for any of these problems. So therefore, the horizontal component of velocity is going to be a constant value. Horizontal component of velocity All you have to do is take the 20 meters per second times the cosine 25 degrees for that value, and that turns out to be 18.1 meters per second. So this goes 18.1 meters per second from the horizontal component of that triangle that you made. That 20 meters per second, that is not horizontal, nor is it vertical, so it can't go in either of the columns. Acceleration in the y direction, always going to be negative 10 meters per second squared. You can use negative 9.8 meters per second squared if you want to, if it is a real problem, but if we are going to eliminate all air friction anyway, might as well round it off and make it a nice even number of 10. The y component, which is the y component on the triangle here, is 20 meters per second times the sine of 25 degrees. 20 meters per second sine 25 degrees goes in that right hand column. Use the calculator, find the value. It is 8.45 meters per second. So the initial velocity in the y direction, 8.45 meters per second. Then we're supposed to find, the ultimate goal is to find the final velocity. Now we know that the final velocity in the x direction is going to be the same and it's independent from the y component of velocity. It's going to be the same because the acceleration in the x direction is equal to zero. But in the y direction, the velocity changes. So four seconds later, this is t equals four seconds, vf is equal to vi plus a times t. That equation will give you the final velocity in the y direction. If you want to, you can make it y specific by putting y subscripts after each of those values. The final velocity in the y direction, initial velocity in the y direction, and acceleration in the y direction. Substitute values in, initial velocity is 8.45 meters per second up, it is positive, and then the acceleration is negative 10 meters per second squared times the time, which is 4 seconds. So four seconds later, this thing will have changed the velocity by 40 meters per second, and in fact, 40 meters per second down, which means you're going to take 8.45 meters per second, subtract 40 from that, and you get about negative 31.5 
negative 31.5 meters per second is the final velocity in the y direction. So that value, we're going to use that one. That's not a final answer. We're going to use that one and the x component and put them together in this little part right here. So 18.1 meters per second is the x component. The final y component is 31.5 meters per second down. So here's the final part of the solution. 18.1 meters per second horizontally. 31.5 meters per second in the vertical direction. Now I don't put negative there because negative, all negative means on that 31.5 meters per second is that it is down. The arrow on that triangle, the arrow on that 31.5 meters per second pointing down contains the same information that the negative 31.5 meters per second does in the little box at the bottom of the page. So I see that uh, x is drawn first and then from the end of the x vector, the y component starts from there and so you have a triangle. Please make sure that your 31.5 is a whole lot bigger than your 18.1. You want to make sure that this thing is somewhere near to scale and that uh, angles bigger than 45 look like angles bigger than 45 degrees. Then you finish the triangle. VF is the hypotenuse and that angle will give you the direction for the final velocity. Do the calculations for the hypotenuse use the Pythagorean theorem and you get a value of, using that Pythagorean theorem, 36.3 <coughs> 3 meters per second. So this is 36.3 meters per second using the Pythagorean theorem and then using the inverse tangent of the opposite over the adjacent 31.5 meters per second divided by 18.1 meters per second. The inverse tangent of that gives just about 60 degrees. So this angle here turns out to be 60 degrees, and so this is 60 degrees below the horizontal. So here is the horizontal, that is 60 degrees below that horizontal. Final answer for the velocity of that egg exactly four seconds later is 36.3 meters per second. That's the speed with its direction. 60 degrees below the horizontal.